I wish I sh my chair should be more upright. I feel like I'm like, hi everybody, look at my nose. Malachi believes in Bigfoot. That's Bigfoot. Just in case you didn't know. I do not. This versus verse is about a believer versus non-believer. Boom. Intro. Uh, if you like this channel, like us on Facebook. The link is down in the description. On there we ask questions before we shoot the videos so we can include your ideas and opinions in these. Let us know in the comments before we get started here what your thoughts are. I would like to hear if you are a Bigfoot believer, share, but, but please do this. If you're a Bigfoot believer, share only like pretty legitimate fact, thought provoking like, oh man, that makes me think. Not just some random video that's shaky and you see something move through six miles of brush and like something, something legitimate. Breaking news out of Texas, Bigfoot is real. According to a group of researchers, they call themselves the Sasquatch Genome Project, and they released what they say is proof. One clip is of Sasquatch sleeping, shot during the day in Kentucky back in 2005. You begin first with telling people why you believe in a creature that has zero proof of existing. Oh, he does. He has a proof. Okay. <laughs> That's it? That's your rebuttal? I'm not telling you what it is, but he does. Well, there's no pictures or anything, but no one would ever take a picture of him. Why? Because they'd run. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is one video that they think is real. The old one? Play it now. <laughs> okay. Beep, boop, 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 no, play. Why do you think he doesn't exist? Okay, here's why I don't think Bigfoot exists. If there was a creature the size of, what's that old gorilla? His footprints and stuff. It's like a megalodon. Now scientists are thinking that he exists. Let's not go into other mythical, <laughs> mythical creatures. That's not a mythical creature. Yes. They know it did exist, and now it they're did, thinking it people, does you exist. You think it does exist still Now today. scientists stop. That's a whole other show. So Gigantothicothicoth -th <laughs> was this, it was an actual ape that existed long ago. Why do they know it existed? Because they found bones. And that's because it was a fossil, because it can only be in sandstone or limestone. That's the only thing that'll preserve it. I don't care about the scientific it. nerdy details. Malachi's a nerd and goes off on the, these, well, because in the Cretaceous period. So they know because of fossil records and bones. Yeah. Where's the Bigfoot fossil records or bones? Not a single one. Because he exists, that's why they haven't found fossil. But I can find bones in spades of animals that actually exist. You find records of them all over the place. Because like, it could be like a giant squid. They only come up when they're dying. Where do they come up from? The woods? No. <laughs> Squids, they wash up when they're dying. Okay. And then with Bigfoots, they've never found one because when they're dying, they could do something when they die. Like ants, when an ant dies, they put it, they put, they bury the ants under their, their ant hole or something. It's like Bigfoots could do ant something. Ant hole like sounds that. like such a... Unless an ant just died, you're not going to see it because they're going to take it back down. So like, and no one's going to be out in the when woods. you find like a, a recent burial hole, like some ground that's been like messed up like something's recently buried here also do bigfoots like are they amazing diggers like a dog do they have shovels how are they digging a hole big enough for a massive animal like that no, i'm not saying they bury them they just could do them? something with them has no bigfoot ever been hit by a car it's never like why don't we find them dead in their bones let's I've go back to that of one that looked like a bigfoot it was dead i don't know if it was but it looked like one what do you think? Do you believe Bigfoot exists? If so, why? Show me proof. Don't just show me a video. You can't see anything from any of these videos. You can't see a thing. It's like, see, it's right there. Listen, we heard it. Give me a break. That's not good enough. So if you have like some legitimate like, oh, well, now that's interesting. I'd like to hear that. Well, that's interesting. I don't know about that. Then share away. You're too logical about things. I'm too, you're the logical no, crazy. You're like, you're like the person that says like, 
if it doesn't, if you can't see it, it doesn't exist. That's how you are. Well, I want some kind of like scientific proof. There is scientific proof. <laughs> okay, what is Foot, that? Footprints. Footprints are not scientific proof. Yeah. Crop circles were disproven, and that was know. like. That's a fake thing. <laughs> <laughs> they know that it's aliens. Okay, we're not <laughs> yes, doing crop they circles. Do. Yes, because they know it's aliens. No. We're not talking about crop circles. Go back to Bigfoot. Scientific proof is not a footprint. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, okay. it can be. Anyone could go out and fake a footprint. Scientists themselves find footprints that are real. Yeah, but some loony bin out in the woods could have made that footprint. No. They would know. <laughs> yeah, you can't. They would know. No, you can't fake a footprint that's actually real. <laughs> <laughs> In the end, I win because there's no, no proof. There's no proof other than like crazy people who make no. things up. And no, I shouldn't say they're just crazy people. I believe that they're they're people. People actually believe they have seen Bigfoot. Here's the thing. This is what Joe Rogan said. So Joe Rogan doesn't know. <laughs> he did a series on Bigfoot. He said most of the people seem like loons. But he said there are a few people who legitimately believed that they saw it. And he's they're like, not I, crazy. No, they're not crazy. There's some people who are legitimate people who saw something. Here's what he believes they saw. A brown bear on its hind legs. They see it usually through trees because they're usually in a very thick wooded area. Yeah. So they see something moving that seems very large and brown. Woods, no, it's not brown. What color is it? It's like a like a very dark brown. How do you know? They found fur from things that aren't from bears. Okay, tell me about that. Tell me about the fur they found that they know isn't a bear. Scientists that went out into the woods and then they saw this fur and stuff. And they said it wasn't from a bear. It wasn't from anything they found. They said it had like a weird texture to it. They said it smelled like how people say when they say they smell what they think is Bigfoot. Mm -hmm. Said it smells like that. So that's how they know. <laughs> okay, I will end with this and I'm right and I will win. If there was enough scientific proof, scientists would be eager to find a new species of something out in the world. That would be thrilling to a scientist. So I don't think scientists are like, it's not that they don't want to believe. I'm sure there's scientists who want to believe, but there's not enough scientific proof at all to hold up that Bigfoot exists. Otherwise it would be known like, yeah, Bigfoots exist. It's known throughout the scientific community, but there's not the best we have are people saying like, yeah, I saw Bigfoot and they all talk like that. And I don't, it's just how they talk. You don't have to get offended. To making fun of people. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm.